Okay, so welcome. This is going to be a Final Cut Pro 7 tutorial on limit effect, color correct three way limit effect. And what we're going to do is we're going to make two different effects with images. Now you can use, obviously, you can do video as well as images, but I'm just going to do a quick uh, example of what we can do with the limit effect with images. So, two things we're going to do this piece here. So we are going to change the color of the dress. Here is the uh, original color of the dress, which is a red. And we are going to change it to a pink. Obviously, we can change it to blue or green or whatever kind of color you want to do. And the second thing we're going to do is we're going to leave the dress as red and we're going to remove the coloring in the background. Okay, so let's get started. Let me just delete these images that we've got. And let me remove all my attributes that I've got, the filters on here. And there's our image. So this is our main image that we're going to work with today. There it is. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is just select that, go into our video filters, color corrector three way. So there it is. So we click that and we double click. And there it is, then in the viewer, the color correct three way, we can click on that. So obviously we can color correct anything we like in this, but we're happy with the image anyway. And in the bottom here it says limit effect. This piece here, limit effect. So if we just click the little arrow, there it is. This is our limit effect extra box. So we've obviously got the color bar here, we've got luma, we've got saturation, we've got edge thinning and softening. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is obviously select the color. So we click on the picker and we select our red because the red's the color we're going to change. And you can see that this is now moved and changed almost to the ready kind of purple color here. So what else we've got is a key. Now the key we can view this, we can view our final image which is obviously this one. We can view our matte which is this one and we can also view our source, this is obviously the source file. So if I click that, I want to look at the mat. So the key should be black. So what we want to do is what we want to achieve with the luma and the saturation here, yeah, we want to achieve the redness of the dress. We want to make this as white as possible in this image. So by moving our luma and move it the other way, let's move that out. We can see it slightly changed that, and if we moved our saturation out, okay, we're starting to pick up a lot more white in here. Let's move to there, okay, that's a bit better. And move a bit more, and a fraction more. And let's see if we can push that away. Okay, that's good, that looks pretty good. Now, if we move our color bars apart from each other, we can start to pick up more of the redness in this. Now obviously her lips are red, because she's got red lipstick on, which I'm not worried about at the moment. What I want is obviously, I want to achieve as much red colour in this as possible. I can deal with the lips later, so if we just keep going. And I think that looks fine about there. Okay, so next we want to click the key. Okay, so obviously this is our source file. So we can see our original source, and if we click it one more time, this is our final file, final image. Okay, so what we can do is we can move our whites, our mids, and our blacks to change the color of this dress. So if I start moving the white, for example, into the purple, move that into about here, we can see it's sort of doing something, right? Obviously, there's a lot of mid-tone color in here. So once, as soon as I move my mid-tones towards the same sort of purple color, we're going to start to see a change in the dress. Okay, starting to go sort of pinky purpley, but you can obviously see the lips have started to go the same kind of way. So, and again, if we move the black in the same direction, we should be pretty good. It's a little over saturated so maybe we want to pull out there and obviously we could probably darken it a little bit put a bit more definition in the color and I think that looks pretty good in the mid-tones and we look pretty good it looks pretty good so we've changed this from 
a red color if I switch this off as our original and into a kind of pink looking dress but obviously her lips are also pink so we want to deal with getting rid of those lips so let's duplicate our layer by using Alt and Shift and then we let go of that and we drop so now we've got a second layer and we can crop this now by pressing C as a shortcut key or you can click cropping here and we're just going to pull up to underneath her chin around here that looks pretty good and then obviously what we want to do is double click our image remove our colour now we can see it's going to look a bit funny and we're going to pink and invert and there we have it so we've clicked the invert we've removed our colouring we've removed our saturation if you wanted to remove the luma remove the luma but not obviously going to help because we want to keep the luma that's about the only thing we want to keep and there we have her lips as they were normal colour and her pink dress and that is one thing we can do with the limit effect obviously the other thing that we can do that's quite useful is if we duplicate our image move it over here and have a look at that okay so we've got our pink lips back let's duplicate this layer as well so we just copy the two layers over that we want and what we want to do is let's take this first layer for example is if I hit invert now we're going to invert and everything's gone a funny looking pink shade but we've got our red dress back okay so what this has done is this has inverted our colors now if I remove all my saturation from here let's see what happens all right Okay, so because our saturation is pink, if I pull it up, there's our highly saturated colours. Now if I remove everything of my saturation, it's going to pull all the colouring out, excluding, obviously, our red colour that we selected at the beginning. Now I want to do the same with this one, but I'm going to obviously bring back my horrible pink colour, which you can now see. I'm going to hit the invert, so we're back to normal, and I'm going to remove my saturation again. Okay, now you can see her lips have gone black, which is good. Now, if I hit invert again, we are back to there. Now, we would probably want to remove our pink in here, and our saturation, and our luma. And there we go. So what we've done there in this tutorial is we've looked at a quick way of removing background colour, keeping the red, and the alternate option we've got is keeping all the colour and changing the colour of her dress from red to pink. And there we go. I'm going to look at uh, the colour uh, software colour that comes with Final Cut Pro where you can do a slightly more advanced version of this in a future tutorial. But for now, that's about it, so thanks very much.